Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of AppSea Connect. Feeding critical data relating to inventory, delivery, order, all of these manually from one platform to another will slow down your business's growth. But with our one of a kind integration solution, your business will become faster, smarter, cost effective, and streamlined. It will connect your e commerce and marketplace with your SAP Business One ERP system. So, let me take you through the main features of our connector. Our integration solution provides a fully automated and bi directional connection between your online and offline operations. Now, your e business needs a quick response time, maybe to provide your customers a real time order status update or to feed your ERP item stock into e commerce website or to even quickly process web orders in the back office ERP system. And most importantly, which is very vital for your e business is to automatically post e-commerce transactions into your ERP's accounting section. So each of these business operations are critical for your business. And through AppSea Connect, these integrations will become automated and will happen in real time without any hassle. So let's have a look at some of the sync features offered out of the box with AppSea Connect. For this short demo, we'll use Magento Community Edition, uh, Community Edition Store to sync data back and forth with SAP Business One ERP system. So this is the demo Magento store that we have. It's based on Magento Community Edition. So first I'll start with showing you how customer synchronization process works. So I'll register as a new customer from the front end of this demo Magento store. And I'll sync back all those information to the SAP Business One. So I'm done with registering as a new customer. I provided the name, last name, uh, the email ID and the password. So I click on submit button and I'll be redirected to the dashboard of this customer's account. I'll go to address book and provide a billing and shipping address for this customer. So again, I'm done with providing an, init an initial uh, billing and shipping address for this customer. So I'll click on save address and I'll directly go to the front end of our connector. So this is the interface of our connector AppC Connect. And let me tell you a brief about our connector. AppC Connect has got two components. One is an add-on that we install in the SAP Business One company. Another is an extended API set that we install in Magento, which basically extends the default API offering of Magento. And this is a very lightweight application that we install in the SAP server, which basically provides an interface to configure and control all the sync features of our integration solution. So the two main features of our connector is quick sync and auto sync. Quick sync is basically the manual trigger of our connector. So under manual trigger, if you want to run a particular sync process, you just have to check the box click on start sync and this process would run and all the corresponding information would be exchanged between the two platforms. What is auto sync is our automatic trigger. So under auto sync, if you have a particular process selected, then that particular process would keep on running and it would run after a uniform time period, say around one minute. So for example, if you have the customer download process selected under auto sync, Every time a new customer would register in your online Magento store, that customer would automatically get downloaded to your SAP, SAP's business partner master data document without you to have, you know, open the AppC Connect interface and manually run the sync process. So for demo purpose, let me just do it manually and run the customer download process of quick sync. So it's completed. So I'll go to the business partner master data of SA Business One and I'll open the document for this particular customer. And here it is, George Cortis. This is the customer as whom I registered from the front end of the demo Magento store. This is the email ID of George. This is the web customer group. So now in Magento, you know, there can be multiple customer groups and every customer can, has to be associated with a particular customer group. 
so the customer group with which george quote is is associated is general so the web customer group as general is being shown over here and these are the other web customer groups that appear by default in a demo magento store so next is the website in a single military installation you know you can have multiple uh, websites so if you have two or three websites connected to a single SA business one company it is very important for you to know from which particular website has a customer registered so here in the custom website you'll be able to see the website's name the Magento website's name from which this customer is registered customer gender if provided in Magento while registering can also be downloaded and shown over here moving on to the address tab this is the billing and sh shipping address and as you can see this is the same address that I provided while registering in the Magento store West Washington Boulevard block 2 city Los Angeles and zip code and even the phone number and let me remind you the business partner master data has all the information that I just provided in the Magento store and this customer synchronization process is a bi-directional process so in case you have a customer details in a business partner margin SA business one our connector can even upload that to Magento and an account would be created in Magento and an automated email would be sent to that customer notifying about the account creation in your Magento website so moving on to the next integration touch point that is item I'll show you how I can create an item in SAP business one not just with item master data but with web item master data as well now web item master data is an extra document that is created by the add-on that we install in SA business one so let me first start off with item master data and I'll create an item So I just created this item, a Nikon DSLR. Now I'll open the web item master data and I'll select the same item which I've just defined in the item master data. So as I was telling you web item master data is an extra document that gets created by the add-on. So this, the purpose of this document is to maintain extra information to define extra information that is required to be maintained in an e-commerce platform like Magento. So in this way I select the same item that has been defined in an item master data and then I provide the extra information. So for example the short description if provided over here in this UDF would get uploaded to the short description field of Magento. So product type, as you know in Magento, there can be multiple product types, simple, bundle, group, configure. So in the web item mastered as well, you can select and create multiple kind of products. So for example, let me take it as a simple attribute set. This is also the attribute set of Magento tax class. These are also the tax classes that are there in Magento and you can have it all selected over here in the web item master data and from SA business one you can completely define and maintain all these details and have it uploaded to Magento. These enable and visible checkboxes ensure that the item is visible at the front end of the Magento store. I'll show you exactly where they get reflected. Next is the website. So uh, as I was telling you in your Magento installation you can have multiple Magento websites. So in case you have multiple websites, you can also select the website in which this particular item would be visible at the front end. Next is the images. This is a very essential feature. So in SA Business One, by default, it does not allow you to maintain multiple images of a particular item. So this web item master data allows you to maintain four images of a particular item and have it all uploaded to your Magento store.
So I provided three images for this particular item. So one would go up as small image, another as uh, image in the gallery, another as the thumbnail. So moving on to the attributes tab, in Magento you have multiple attributes and attribute values. So all those parameters and options are you know provided in the web item mastered as well and you can use them to define your item in details. So for example, I'll just select the attribute color and uh, the attribute value black. And I can even define the category under which this item would be visible at the front end of the Magento store. So I just store DSLR which is a subcategory under the main category camera. So I'll just add this product now. And I'll head back to the interface of our connector to run the simple product upload process. So I'll just move on to the SAP to Magento tab and then run the simple product upload process. So the simple product upload process has been completed. So I'll directly go to the back end of the Magento store now and go to the catalog and here as you can see this is the product that I just created in the web item master data and item master data of SA business one Nikon D5200 uh, with the price tag of $800 so if I just uh, log in I'll be able to show you the short description as well so this is the short description that I provided in the web item master data and this is the attribute color and its value black that I selected this is the item name, this is the item code, that the SQ over here, the weight, I forgot to provide but if provided in the item master data, that as well gets uploaded. Now there were two checkboxes if you remember, one was enable, another was visible, so that enable checkbox gets reflected over here if checked as the option enable selected over here, the visible checkbox if checked appears over here as catalog search. Moving on to the price, as you can see this is the price. 800 this is the tax class that I selected in the web item master data moving on to the images tab these three are the images that I provided so as you can see one is the base image another is the small image and another is the thumbnail just as I selected in the web item master data so inventory has not been provided yet I'll just show you the category now so under camera as you can see the DSLR Category is the one having this particular item listed at the front end. So now I'll get back to SAP Business One and I'll just provide initial stock for this particular item and I'll show you how that as well can be uploaded to Magento. So I'll go to Inventory and generate a goods received document. say 500 I'll add it so I have a initial stock of 600 I'll run the stock update process so the stock update process is complete so I'll get back to Magento and go to the inventory tab and just refresh the page so as you can see this is stock that I just provided in stock and at the front end as well under DSLR category this item would be visible Nikon 5200 DSLR so I'll just add it to cart and show you how an order can also be downloaded to SAP Business One so a tax amount has been also been calculated it's 866 I'll select the billing and shipping address which I have already provided while registering I'll select the flat rate shipping method and I'll check select an offline payment method and I'll place the order so it's 871 
as the total order amount so let's head back to our connector and run the order download process so I'll check the box for the order download process and I'll click on start sync so the order download process is complete and I'll open the SV business one now and go to the sales order document and open the last one so this is the sales order George Cotis ordered quantity 1 Nikon 5200 unit price 800 and the tax code CA as the state was set as California in the billing and shipping address and 871 is the total order amount the tax is 66 and the Fred as well very accurately sync back to SA business one as five dollars only so in this way you can sync the sales order and all its details from Magento to SAP Business One. So swiftly just let me create a delivery document for this particular sales order and an invoice as well. So I'll just click on the add button and invoice got created as well so I'll run the delivery upload and the invoice upload processes of a connector so now I'll run the delivery upload process first so as you know when an order gets placed in Magento by default the status of the order is pending and when the delivery is uploaded the order status changes from pending to processing so let me just go back to the Magento the back end and if I go to sales orders as you can see the status is processing right now because the delivery has been uploaded so as you can see this is the shipment this has been uploaded and while uploading delivery from SA Business 1 to Magento if the shipment tracking ID is provided in the delivery document of SA Business 1 that as well gets uploaded over here and shown over here so moving back to the connector I'll just run the invoice upload process now as I've up as I've just created the delivery and the invoice uh, consecutively in the SF business one and I go to Magento and I go to sales orders again and I'll be able to see that the status has changed so as you can see the status is complete now which was previously processing and if I get in and go to the invoices tab you can see the amount has been paid so in this way you know you can sync the sales order customers your delivery invoice everything to and fro between these two platforms there are other features as well which would definitely like to show you if you are interested in our connector so for more information you can visit our website also you can drop us a mail at corpathretensing.co.in uh, for a quick word you can call us directly on any of these three numbers hope the video was informative for you and follow us on twitter for regular updates thanks for your time